uh, some remarks of uh, other directors, particularly on uh, uh, Director Salzman. I have to agree 100% that uh, uh, I can sympathize for African Americans, but I can't empathize because I can't put myself in your shoes. And I do everything that I possibly can to not be blind, but rather be uh, racially aware of the, the rights and privileges that all of us should have and a lot of us don't. And, and it's my responsibility to be able to do everything that I can to contribute to that leveling of that playing field. Uh, uh, moving on to uh, uh, some comments from, uh, from Director Allen. Uh, I think that we need to get an RCI and drill into this uh, deeper in relationship to uh, the disconnect on some of the funding issues. And they frighten me from the standpoint of number one, I don't understand them as well as I should. And number two is when I see that we have a ridership of 7% and we're still paying our entire staff, uh, it's, you, you can't get there from here. Uh, the most important resource that we have in BART though is our employees. It's not the trains, it's not the tracks. Uh, it's the employees that we end up having. Uh, the last thing I ever want to see is going to be furloughs, uh, but we've got to figure out, and here's another disconnect that we have. We still have capital projects that we're working on uh, simply because we already have funds committed for those. And in the final analysis, if we continue to work on these things, is uh, should we put them on pause? I don't know. Uh, should we end up considering putting some of them on pause? Yeah, we ought to take a look at it. Uh, we find ourselves in a position where we continue to uh, pull the money out of the available resources that we have uh, because we have the legal authority to do it. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the physical, phys physically responsible thing for us to do as an organization. And nobody's even taking a look at that. Uh, I'll have to end up uh, commenting and disagreeing with uh, Director Allen from the standpoint of pushing back on, on the public in relationship to fair gates and defunding the law enforcement. Uh, that, those positions, uh, I will have to end up saying I have absolutely no traction. But are we going to have to have major changes in our law enforcement? Of course we are, because it's a new day. It definitely is a new day. Um, and we need to end up being responsive, not locally, but globally in that regard. And we have to have our finger on that pulse and find out what the, not what the best practices are, but what the best practices are projected to be. And that's the goal that we need to end up going for. As far as the fair evasions and everyone uh, want, who wants to end up uh, riding free and defunding the police and getting rid of, get, getting rid of them completely, we need to have a thought through uh, response that summarizes the need for the law enforcement and in relationship to the fair gauge, it's a real short, short discussion. The people that are speaking with so much, uh, I guess, anger and venom are also venting from the standpoint of their frustration. They're speaking from their emotions, not from their cognitive thinking capability. And while we have to end up respecting that, we also have to end up doing the responsible thing. So those are my comments. And uh, oh, for crying out loud, um, I didn't even have to find one myself. Uh, at that point, uh, uh, Vice President, I, I don't have. Uh, I want to end up getting together with uh, Director Allen and dig into the finances and get a better education so we can ask some, some reasonable questions and take a look forward. Also, we had a system, uh, system uh, service worker that said that uh, basically the welcome back doesn't work. And uh, that's something that I would like to end up getting a report on and finding out exactly what he was referring to as far as staffing is concerned and functions. Uh, to that end, now that I've had and taken the advantage of uh, using this bully pulpit to uh, vent myself uh, with that, I will end up turning it over to Vice President Fuller.